Hi Wishtrenders, this is Tessa. I'm here again for Wish Salon with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to shape your nails and remove your cuticles. So let's get started. First of all, depending on the length of your nails, you would want to clip first and then file it or just file it. Here I will be clipping my nails. Actually clipping your nails is better because it does give you a rougher edge so that the filing is easier than just filing it. After you're done clipping your nails, you want to file them. A good nail file is one that is has a rough surface. You don't want to find something that's smooth. It's It won't file easily. So one of the common mistakes that people do when they file their nails is they go back and forth, but that's not really good for your nails. It causes a lot of stress on your nails and it causes breakage. So you want to go in one direction. And another thing is when you file your nails, you don't want to make it just perpendicular to your nails so that it, ca it has like a harsh edge. You want it to be as round as possible so that in your everyday life it doesn't break. File it um, perpendicular but also at a 45 angle so that it has like an overall smooth round corner. We're done shaping our nails, so I'm going to show you two ways to remove your cuticles. First is like a beginner amateur level or those that do not necessarily have a lot of cuticles. Another type later on, I will show you the professional level of how to remove cuticles using a cuticle nipper. First of all, this is the most common way I treat my cuticles is using this cuticle softener pen. This is like a two-in-one system, so it's like an orange stick with the oil coming out of the pen. And it's really handy, so that's how I do it. The other method, if you don't have this particular pen, is to actually use an orange stick with a cuticle oil. So first you want to soak your cuticles with the oil and let it set for 20 to 30 seconds and then start pushing with the orange stick uh, to remove the debris on your nails. So those two methods are when you don't really have a lot of cuticles or you don't want to use a nipper or your cuticles are naturally clean or you're in a beginning level. Now I will show you the professional way of using the cuticle nipper when you actually have a lot of cuticles to remove. Also, always, always sanitation is the key, especially when you're using metal uh, objects like these and especially if you're using it with other people. Always want to sanitize your tools with alcohol beforehand and then use it on yourself. You would also want to use a hand sanitizer or wash your hands before doing this process. I am not a professional nail artist but this is how I do it and you can also do it for yourself and it's super safe. First, instead of using an orange stick, you can push with a metal pusher to push back all the cuticles and then you want to use a cuticle nipper. Always, always, always have your cuticles soft before using the nipper so that you know where you're putting your nipper on to. You do not want to do this on a dry cuticle or else you may rip your skin. You're clipping only the excess cuticle that does not necessarily have to be on your skin. You're not clipping the entire cuticle or else it may get infected. Oh, and here's another tip for your manicure routine. Oftentimes you have a tough skin around your nails. I don't have a lot of uh, tough skin, so I'm using my friends here. She has a tough skin on her nail. When you want to remove that at home, instead of using a nipper, what you can do is put uh, cuticle oil on it first for it to soften. And then you want to use this washable nail file. So you want to file it down and voila! All we need to do is buff and shine your nails. If you are putting a nail polish, this might not be necessary. But if you want to just maintain it, so you want to use a buffer that has a fine grain surface on one side and then a really, really smooth shiner on the other side. So first you want to buff it up to even out the nail. And then after you buff it, you want to use the shiner and then rub it to 
until your nail shines. Your nail will shine even if you don't use a base or top coat. We're going to be using this lotion and oil. There are several ways of how to use these two products. First, you may want to just moisturize your hand or you can also mix the two together and just moisturize both your hand and your nails. Make sure when you're moisturizing your hand that you get those moisturizer really seeped into your cuticles and then use the oil particularly on your fingernails so that your cuticles are moisturized. So this is how you can give yourself a at-home manicure treatment. If this tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment down below. Uh, my name is Tessa, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!